Make sure you're at 50% now. We're gonna spend one minute just rolling it over at this effort. And then we're gonna do an acceleration. 30 seconds, seated, rolling it up, bringing the effort up from our 50% number. All right, just settle in. Another 45 seconds to go before we do that. Shoulders relax. I wear these long pink arms. I can see on the screen if I start to go like this pretty quickly. <laughs> it's not because I'm cold. I'm kidding, I'm running out of clothes. Okay, we're gonna roll that up in 15 seconds. You're gonna give me five to 10 more RPM from wherever you are. Just bringing a little bit more effort into the mix. Five seconds. In two, one. Little cadence acceleration. Quicker feet. We're going to sandwich this climbing workout with some nice cadence in the beginning, nice cadence at the end, and a lot of climbing throughout the rest of the workout. 10 more seconds. I'm just nudged over 100, 104, 103 RPM. Two, one, back it down. Preferred cadence. Just stay at that 50% again. Rest of the minute and we'll start bringing the gear up. About 10 seconds. Make sure you're comfortable. Windows open, fans on, any of those things you can to get a better quality out of your workout. Okay, throughout the next 30 seconds, bring the gear up. Preferred cadence, a little bit more. If you're doing this on your app, gives you time for the computer to read your cues. On our bikes, takes about 10 seconds. 60%. Remember, that's where you're comfortably making conversation. Middle of your endurance range. Breathe, shoulders down, another 30 seconds, and then you're gonna do that acceleration again. Check in with your feet. You keep increasing the gear a little bit. Just check in. Check into the pressure. We're doing some sessions outside. Okay, Sheila was there last night, a few others. I know, it's a late, it's a, a short turnaround, isn't it? <laughs> but in that, one of the things we want to work on in our shifting is having those subtle little nuances of pressure in the pedals and feeling where we need to actually change gears, learning that. Okay, cadence increase, 5 to 10 RPM, up, up, putting you over 100 bringing the effort up, feeling the turnover of the legs. Just over 10 seconds. Watch those shoulders as the leg speed starts to come up. Don't get all tight. Last five, three, two, preferred cadence. Back it back down. Although this is just warm up, and lots of times, there's a tendency to just go, oh, okay, I'll just turn off and do this. It's still important, structured development. As I say, of feeling the effort changes, the cadence changes, the pressure changes, the pedal stroke, while you're not going, so hard that there's more of a focus on just the legs hurting. So it's a good little bit of homework. It's like doing those skills and drills 
when you play an instrument, riding without stirrups, when you're trotting around an arena on a horse, all of those good things. Single, arm, freestyle stroke, swimming, all of those things where you're not going super hard, you're just connecting on the drills. Bring the gear up, 70% now, at this cadence. Feeling the effort come in. Getting out of where we're really aerobic. Getting a little clip in the voice. Settling into that preferred cadence again. Best part of a minute still to go. Feel more pressure in the legs, more pressure against the pedals. 30 more seconds. Eyes up. You can always tell Jill's silhouette there. <laughs> I know, we do that when we don't have to look at anything on the road. Practice the good habits. 15 seconds. That's why watching bike racing can be good if you sit on your trainer a lot. Five seconds, roll up the cadence, five to 10 RPM, up, up. Feeling in each gear, how the extra bit of momentum, there's that first little punch into the effort, and then it actually feels Good for a bit. With that extra velocity, you're gonna drop it back in three, two, one. Preferred cadence, back to where you're optimizing. Bring it down. This warm up, I'm not having you come back to easy in between. So you are doing a bit of a build throughout. Doing a little bit harder efforts today than we were doing in the very early part. When I say harder, I just mean a little bit higher wattage, higher intensity. They're still very sustained. You're gonna bring the gear up for me one last time. You're gonna give me your best guess at your 80%, <laughs> your best attempt, 80%. Want you to get there in 30 seconds though. So don't rush it, but just starting to think about your comfortable cadence, bringing up the gear. All right now, if you haven't done it already, 80%. not in our endurance zone anymore. <clears throat> Best part of 30 seconds. Strong through the feet now. Really feel more force through the pedals. Getting this thing around. Still at that nice cadence. I'm gonna ask you for one more lift in the cadence. Don't charge too hard. Five RPM, probably enough. With this amount of gear. Getting ready to go in 10. Let the ankles move. Nice push through the feet. Here we go. Two, one, five RPM. Up, up, eyes up, less than 30 seconds to go. Come on everybody, a little bit of a push over the top of this warm up. Last 10 seconds coming up. 
Definite lactate building in the legs. Five, three, two, and this time let it go. Easy, easy. Back the gear off and recover. Good job, everyone. <clears throat> so certainly seeing a lot of strength out there on the rides. <clears throat> I know our club ride, I know not all of you can make it to that, but our club ride really getting nice and fluid in the top groups, strong. And we were talking about that. Part of our Tuesday nights are about just working on some of the fine tuning, this fine tuning that you'll do all your cycling life, but working on the skills that allow you to ride faster, more efficiently, more effectively with the group, and everyone doing a little bit of work. It certainly feels safer <coughs> and more fun. Okay, easy pedaling for another two minutes, or best part of. And what we're going to do is a lot of twos. We're gonna do two minutes at 80 to 85%, so around that effort we just finished at. And this is at a lower climbing cadence, but 60 to 70, okay? Dancing around in there. Something that you would use on probably a 5% grade or over, but playing with that lower cadence, climbing cadence, and then this every then there's a two minute break at 50%, so you're keeping pressure on the pedals, and then the next two minutes is that same 80 to 85% output, but you're a little higher, 70 to 80, which is where we've recommended for the Everest climbing is gonna be optimal for most of you, depending on the grade you picked. So we're gonna go in 45 seconds. We're running through this twice, but there is a break of three minutes in the middle. So 14 minutes, three minutes easy, 14 minutes, and we're gonna finish off with a little bit of punchy, seated to standing at the end. Again, in a pretty high effort. So two minutes 80 to 85, Let's bring the cadence in around 60 to 70 RPM. Those of you that avoid very low cadences, this gives you a comfortable sort of 70 RPM to flutter around most of the time. Let's make sure we have the gear now, bringing it up to 80 to 85%. Those of you who have your playlist going, a playlist or mine, can crank it up a little bit. Just keep my voice there for the cues. In two, one, first two minutes. Let's try and focus on our form. Driving everything forward. How to bring my cadence down a little bit to get under 70 RPM. As you settle into these rhythms, takes a few seconds. Get that gear. Eyes up. Lower cadence. Really gonna wanna watch. Starting to go fall from side to side. Strong through the feet, pulling up and around the back. Just a bit. Less than a minute to go in this two. Keep the output nice and solid. Two minutes. Not too hard to keep our head around it. Might want this first one around that 70 cadence. And then the next time we get to this effort, Bring it down into the strength range a little bit as though the hill got a bit steeper or you're using a harder gear. 20 seconds away from going to that 50% again. Let your ankles move, watch your shoulders. Eyes up. 
in three, two, one, two minutes at preferred cadence, 50%, not full recovery. First part feels relieving, but maybe not like any recovery at all. Get yourself up and around that 90 cadence. Good. First 30 seconds done. Now just enjoy it. Having the even time of the hard to the recovery. Mentally gives you a good big break. Physically allows you to get to that higher number. So giving you the two minutes in between. Theoretically allows you to get to that big output and to charge through that really strongly. Going to come into our last 30 seconds where you're going to use part of it. Still at this active recovery number and then start to lower the cadence. Bring the gear back up. This time a little bit higher climbing cadence of 70 to 80. So let's start dropping the cadence. 70 to 80. Simultaneously or as efficiently as you can, bring the gear back in. Trying to get over our 85% or 80% in two, one, and you're on it. Two minutes. Hard little segments here. Pushing into the grade, pushing into the hill. Big gear to get this wattage or steep pitch. Feel the same, almost at 30 seconds in. Awesome job, everyone. Really good. Doing lots of riding outside right now. You might even think that this two on, two off feels a little bit like when you're climbing with your very small groups that we're riding in right now. Someone's given you a wheel. A little bit of reprieve. Yes, it does help, even on climbs. 45 seconds here. Push that gear around. Keep your eyes up, searching for that next landmark. Motivation to keep you pushing. Try and keep it below 70 RPM or it didn't just in around there. Gives you the opportunity to feel that pressure. Focus on your feet. Strong through the feet, strong through the legs. Strong through the big driving muscles. Five more seconds, guys. Back to that 50%. Two, one, get some gear off. 50% again. Preferred cadence to generate it. Taking that little break. On and off. Good, right there. Try and learn this 50% of MAP where over two minutes you really feel the heart rate coming down, <clears throat> having the capability of talking. Just over a minute now. 
Hold on to that number. Play around with the gear if you want. It's a good chance to work with that new, maybe few RPM that you have available from your training. Play around with the gear so that you, I feel like you have a little bit more blood moving around, getting that recovery. Also, as we talked about, particularly when you get a little break, use it, take a drink. Anytime the effort comes off a bit, you want in 15 seconds. This one is back to 60 to 70. Bringing it down. Bringing the gear up, 80 to 85 percent. Two, one, two minutes. Good job, everyone. Get into it. Lower cadence again. A little bit lower. A little bit more strength. Lock in. Takes you a little bit to find your cadence. Then make sure you bring the rest of the gear in. 80 to 85%. Big push. A lower cadence. Nice job. Second minute. We're into it. Ah, and keep driving around. Push, push, push. Stay strong. Use the energy of everyone around you. You're going to get that 50% again. 30 seconds. Hold it right here for now. Good job, everyone. 20 more seconds. Holding this gear. Bring the shoulders down. Willing the bike to stay on task. Making it stay on task. Three, two, one. 50%. Last recovery. Last two minutes after this. You've been going 10 minutes on this piece. Get to that recovery cadence. Awesome job, everyone. Recover, recover. Using wheels around you to get a bit of a break. When you're doing these pieces of recovery, try not to be just 10 watts, 20 watts too high, thinking it doesn't feel like much. We're trying to get the quality in the efforts we're focused on right here. And we're right here for this one, okay? 45 seconds. Nice turnover. Another drink, sip of water. Keep doing that. Mentally, lots of studies show that even the drinking is a bit of a mental <clears throat> sort of motivator. Makes you feel like you're getting a little reward. As always, change up. 70 to 80 cadence. We're going in 10 seconds. Last time in this set. In five. 
70 to 80 cadence, dropping from your preferred cadence, bringing that gear up, and two minutes from now. Come on, push, push. Driving into the pedals near the top of the segment. Sheila has the blue climbers jersey on from the Giro. <laughs> Sometimes you just want to wear your polka dots, wear your climbing jersey. Think about that visual, trying to draw some more punch into your pedal stroke. Sometimes even just thinking about that tour pro you want to look like your best friend that climbs really well, someone that just looks pretty on the bike when they're climbing, whatever helps you move forward. Last minute on this. Push, push, push. <coughs> Vanderpoel. Come on, guys. Coming up to our last 30 seconds. Keep that 80% plus. Strong, <coughs> decisive, finishing off your last 30 seconds. If you want to roll it up and over, a little bit more cadence, just to push it over the top. Always a good habit or tool in your tool bag. Be right there as the bike tips down. A little bit more recovery. In three, two, and one. Back it off. Easy. Good part of three minutes. Find yourself a nice recovery cadence. Okay, that's almost 30 seconds. Already out of your recovery. A little bit of soft pedaling in the beginning. <clears throat> Make sure you drink a little bit here. I'm gonna keep giving you updates on how much more recovery we have. So I was telling you about some of the preparation for the Olympics coming up. And those of you that do watch a bit of bike racing, do take an interest in it. I don't keep up that well on some of it myself, but I am always interested in seeing some of the, I don't know, monumental efforts that come out of some of these guys. And right now, I was talking about the young guns coming into mountain bike, and amazing, because 35 year old, you know, still hanging on, he has a medal in every color already, Nino Schurter from Switzerland. And I have to say that everybody's struggling after a bit of a year off racing because it's hard to get those efforts out of training in any way. But he's really answering some of these young guys pretty well. But the level that they brought into it, so two riders, they both ride the classics and they both ride Cyclocross, both are world champions in cyclocross in U23 and then in senior. So Matthew Vanderpoel from the Netherlands and now Tom Pidcock from Great Britain, who they're saying is the biggest talent to come out of Britain ever, <laughs> which is saying something if you know some of the names, but absolute phenomenal race on the weekend. The power comes out of those guys is incredible. And it's an illustration of the different body types as well. So when I say, think about someone you'd like to emulate, you maybe feel like you're more of a Vanderpool size, want to look like him when he's charging at over a thousand watts, or Tom Pickcock, who apparently is smaller than me, 50 kilograms, and uh, dances away from Matthew Vanderpool, seemingly. So get that visual in your head, we're going again. 
Five seconds. Find your cadence. 60 to 70. 80%. Starting a 14 minute block in two, one. Here we go. Come on, crank that big ear on. Lower end of the spectrum in your climbing range. Someone asked me about doing leg weights while they're doing this. My guidance would be to really back off some of that. Little, little bit of maintenance. But when you're doing strength on the bike, you're really doing a lot of what you need to be through your cycling. Just some of the stabilizers. Okay, guys, not a lot of momentum to turn this gear around. I'm dropping myself well down into the 60s. You've done your first minute. Come on, keep it going. Honest with those gears now. This is two minutes, so a hard push is well within our bandwidth. Feel it through the feet. Let your ankles help you. Just about 30 seconds to go. Come on, feel that push behind the pedals. Come on, give it a little grr. Tough it out. Almost a 10. Carry it right through. If you're in that little group you ride with, you're climbing with, you're gonna pull off in less than five, three, two, get that 50%. Recover, recover. We're not soft pedaling. We're catching our gears on the way down, slotting ourselves in nicely to have a bit of help from the few riders around us. Mentally, physically. Make sure you got that cadence. Good one. Good one. Feel your breathing come back a little bit. You're getting better and better at this. So your recoveries come in more quickly. And also, just that capability that you develop mentally to go, okay, this is what I'm getting now. That's okay. Take a little longer to come down than maybe if I was sitting up. But I also keep contact with the pedals. I still feel like I'm riding in between. I know I'm getting recovery. A little head game and leg game. Let's get into it again. This one, 70 to 80 cadence, 80 to 85 percent in less than 10 seconds. Drop your cadence first. Bring it down to that nice, kind of cypressy rate of turnover. Bring the gear up. Here we go. Two minutes right now. Feel the pressure come in through the pedals. Embrace it. Really good, everyone. Stay with that. This feeling that you've gotten so used to is what so many people new to doing this have to struggle with in the beginning. Seeing a hill, feeling that they have to put so much more pressure in the pedals. <clears throat> and trying to just go with it. You've got 
Just over a minute. Come on. Keep that gear. You've got the rhythm. Keep it locked in. Push, push, push. Only two more after this hard one. Come on. Keep it going. Keep it going. You like to count. We're almost at 30 seconds. There's 30. Come on, push, push, push. And feel that lactate coming into the legs. Think of something else. Last 10 seconds now. Come on. Think you can. All the way through this one. In three, two, and 50%. Not letting it all go. Click those gears down. Compensate with cadence so that the change in the power comes down subtly and also not a big shot to the legs. Going from that big gear, low turnover. To try to move the blood around and get back into our optimal sort of cadence. Two more to go of these. All that matters right now, just what's right in front of you. Getting through the workout. Okay, if you're not at 50%, make sure you're bringing it back there. Get maximum out of this. Exercise. A little drink again. I see lots of you drinking, that's great. We're going 80% and harder. It is difficult to get things down. A lot of the efforts in this series, we've been doing more of our Everesting kind of pacing. Under 70% or 70 and under. Okay, back to the lower cadence. 60 to 70. Only two more to go. Let's take a big bite out of it. Here we go, bring the gear up. Two, one, two minutes. Stay with it. More hamstrings. This lower cadence. Really driving into it. Come on, guys. Picture you're on that favorite climb. Riding with that person who rides a little more strongly than you. Take some attention to keep it in there. Let the ankles help your feet move. Pulling it in the back, grabbing all that power you can. Come on, guys. Push. Last 60 seconds in this one, coming up. Come on, we're just gonna ride right up to that Arbutus tree before our next break. Sight it. Drive towards it. Come on, everyone. Positive feelings. Always keep positive things in your head. Always look as far as you can keep the positive things in your head as you achieve. We'll grab on some more. 
Last five seconds. Three, two, 50%. Don't let it come down too much. Recover, recover. Cadence coming up as your gear is coming down. Keeping that bike from throwing back all at once. Solid momentum. All right, that's your first 30. This is your last hard one in this set. This is for the top 70 to 80 cadence. Recover, recover. Always gonna suggest you take a sip of water before your big efforts. Back to that, giving the brain little things that it likes. <clears throat> little rewards. And when you're asking your legs, to do things that are uncomfortable. Okay, 70 to 80 cadence. Let's try and make this your 85%. Soon as you can get into it, if you've been hovering around 80, make this one bigger. Start dropping your cadence a little bit. In and around 80 is a good rate though. Unless you're super comfortable in the lower gears. Some people are. 10 seconds. Come on, bring that gear up. I want the whole two minutes. Going in five, two, one. Come on, get after it. Push it all the way. First 30 seconds, adjust. Middle 30, locked into the rhythm. There you go. We're in the middle. Minute and a half to go, come on. This is for the top this time. Eyes up. You just started to nudge ahead of that friend usually climbs a little better than you bring it on let's keep that this last 60 seconds right past the finish line come on everyone dig 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 push it all the way keep that number Keep that number. Coming to our last 30 seconds. I'm gonna ask you to lift the cadence a little bit. Whatever you can do for the top. Up, up. Come on. Come on. Think you can, think you can, come on. Driving it over the top. Get yourself into a really good position. To relax on the downhill, come on. Coming up to our last five. Last five, right there. Three, two, and let it go. Cover, recover. Back the gear right off. Easy as you like, easy as you like. Do a little bit of sliding space here. This is over the crest into the downhill because you pushed it a little bit over the top of the hill. It allows you a little bit more soft pedaling on the other side. A couple of people just coming back to you, your other three, four friends. And we're gonna do one last thing here. I'm gonna give you one more minute. 
And then we're going to go 30 seconds at that hard rate again. You choose the cadence, I'm saying 90 to 100. So, preferred cadence. <coughs> and then the second 30 seconds, you're gonna stand. And you're gonna use that as recovery, okay? So you're not accelerating, you're doing the 30 seconds hard, and then we're just envisioning, you're trying to hold the power, hold the gear, your power will fluctuate when you stand, but we're just gonna get on top of it and try and drive it. We're gonna do three of them. <clears throat> Actually, I think we can fit in four, okay? Preferred cadence right now. Have another sip of water. These will go by fast. 15 seconds. Bring that gear up. Bring that gear up. Bring that gear up. In three, two, one. 30 seconds. We had a little fakey downhill. Now we're just on our last pitch, four minutes to the end. Come on, turn this over. Really strong through the feet now. This is a big push. Remember, you're gonna use that standing for recovery. Two, one, up, up. You can slow it down. Holding the gear. Don't lock the shoulders. Good job, guys. We're gonna sit back down in this gear and turn it over again in five seconds. Three, two, one, 30 seconds. Wind it up again. Come on, try and just touch your number again. Little fakey attacks. Come on, keep it going, guys. 10 more seconds. Three, two, get on top of it. So you're just waiting till you decide to go next time. If the 30 seconds is too long to stand, and sit down and regroup. Doesn't feel like that much though. Nice flat foot or neutral. Drop the heel a little bit. Give your leg a stretch. In three, two, one. Come on. Two more of these. Wind it up. Hey, right there. Come on. 15 seconds. Come on, keep it going. 10. Second last one, guys. Come on. Push, 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 push. Getting on top of it in three, two, up, up. Awesome. Last one. Last one. Getting ready to take it back down. Try wind it up again. This is the real finish now. Two, one. Back to your cadence. Bring it up. Okay. Should be there again. This is a real finish. 10 to go. Come on. Dig, dig, dig now. Three, two, standing last time. Just cause you can. Eyes forward. Dance on those pedals. Come on. Little bit of will. Don't lock the shoulders. 
off. Back it off. Recover. Whew. A little bit of an ask at the end. From as easy, as easy as you like, start bringing a bit of the gear back just so you're three to five out of 10. Helps to push the blood around properly. A little turnover, a little bit of gear. And just around 90 cadence, 90 to 95. Your breathing gets more regular. Have a drink. I'm just going to ease you up. 90 to 95. 95 to 100. Bring it up a little bit. Remember this. When you're out doing some of your hard efforts, <coughs> just finishing off with an extra kilometer a little bit around a couple of blocks, just over 100 now. Nudge it up, right to sort of the top of our range where we talk about being optimal, 105, and just settle in, settle in. I'm gonna bring it back down in the same kind of control ranges. In 15 seconds, we're going to drop it to 100. <clears throat> 100 cadence in two, one. Just hovering around there. Make sure your gear is easy. <clears throat> if you crept up over five out of 10, Bring it back down now. We're just trying to get the legs. You want them to feel a little bit better than just after the effort. Gives you a better place to start from the next day, the next ride. All right, we're gonna come down to 95. Two, one, just slowing it down. Whatever you feel you need for gear long as it's easy. Awesome, everyone. Next drop, just wherever you want it to be. And last minute, I'm just dropping between 90 and 95. Everybody else do the same. Okay, so just while we're flushing this last couple minutes, if you have a few extra minutes, always gonna do you well, just to give a little bit of extra recovery time. <clears throat> we do have, uh, if you're here in Vancouver, we do have, or Whistler, we do have Power Hour each week, and the weather's been pretty cooperative. So that's your hill intervals outside, bringing in some of the technique and some of those things that we've worked on to uh, help as well as just the effort. And then, uh, this, this week, we actually have our first Everest uh, longer endurance climbing day on this coming Saturday. And that will be climbing focus. We'll do a lot of transitions up and down versus going out and doing long climbs. When I say long climbs, I mean some of the mountains we have available. We'll be doing a little bit more kind of inside half hour of up and down. So people get used to that. Stay with me for a little while. If you want to unmute, have a chat for the workout, that's a wrap.